Hello everyone, welcome to this month's um, Cockrot updates. So these are going to be the updates of what we've been doing throughout the month of August here in Costa Rica. This month we are joined by Sky Neville, a plastic activist from the UK, and we'll be hearing all about her amazing work and some exciting things we have planned together as well. Before, before we get to speak to Sky, let's have a look what we've been doing here at Cockrot. Um, so this month, we welcomed two new interns from France, Suzanne and Thea. They're going to be helping us uh, with our research. They're going to be looking at the impacts of different vegetation on the temperature of the nests on the beach. And we're going to be looking at the, the nest site um, selection of the green sea turtles to see if they're choosing um, different places to nest um, depending on what the vegetation is like and if that's having an impact on the temperature inside the nest. So some really helpful research that will allow us move forward to move forward um, with our beach reforestation project um, and stabilizing that beach for future nesting. Perhaps even more exciting, especially for those who've uh, been to Cockrock before and had to survive the old kitchen our new kitchen is finally finished. Um, you can see it's nice and big and shiny. We're being very precious, keeping it nice and clean. Betty is not allowed in the kitchen. We have a lot of space, so we're going to make a little classroom corner where we can have um, educational visits. Um, everyone is very happy to have this kitchen finally finished. Uh, it's the time of the year where we're starting to see lots of hatchlings, so morning patrols are much more exciting. Now we have the chance of bumping into a nest um, exploding of hatchlings. Uh, so here we have some olive ridleys um, in the morning coming out of the nest. So in the coming weeks and months, we're going to start to be able to do some excavations of our marked nests so we can start get, getting some hatchling success data um, to, to go alongside our nesting uh, data as well. Um, so if we're looking to come to Cockrot, now is the time. Lots of babies and lots of nesting females. We've also been continuing with our community projects. Uh, you can see here in this picture, uh, the project Somos donated some laptops to us so that we can um, improve our education for the local women and children's group, teaching them English, teaching them employability skills, um, and also giving presentations about the environment. Um, and finally, our turtle numbers for this month. Unfortunately, we did have to have a week and a half off the project um, to finish a few improvements on camp before we head into the busy season. However, we were still able to record 264 olive ridley nests and two green nests as well. So we're hoping that these numbers will be increasing as we come into the rainy season um, so we can reach that six or 7,000 mark that we saw last season. So lots of turtle activity, um, and we're looking to have a full camp in the next few weeks, um, running us into December. Lots of data, lots of action, um, and copra at its best. So that's it for this month. Um, that's what we've been up to. Uh, now it's time to introduce the amazing Sky Neville, all the way from Wales. Hello, Sky. How's it going? Good, thanks. So Sky, perhaps you can start off by explaining how you got this amazing cartoon made. Uh, um, what have you been up so to? I'm, I've been campaigning to ban plastic toys from comics and magazines because in the UK, magazines come with all this stuck to the front and there's like 12 pieces of plastic on one magazine and it's just a bit ridiculous that that amount of plastic comes on one magazine. Um, so this cartoon was actually made by National Geographic Kids and they made this awesome cartoon of me from my campaigning. Uh, and what have you been doing with your com campaign then? So you, you saw that the magazines are giving all this tat, as you like to call it. So what's been your, your way to stop it? What have you been doing to try and get, get these companies to stop putting tat on their magazines? So I have a petition with which has got over 65,000 signatures and I write lots and lots of letters and right now we are relaunching the campaign as CAPTAT, Kids Against Plastic Tat. Um, so within that 
in the UK, there's a nationwide letter writing campaign. Um, all the schools that are signed up to Kids Against Plastics Plastic Clever School Scheme are hopefully getting involved with letter writing. So we're totally re relaunching the campaign to take on the UK's biggest supermarket to try and get them to stop selling magazines with plastic toys on. Amazing. We want to see less tap. Um, and Sky, what made you so passionate about um, the plastic problem? Um, what, what made you want to try and do something about it? I've been litter picking since I was about six. So I saw um, plastic directly affecting our beach. And then I've had like quite a few magazines, but all of them have been environmentally friendly and came in paper or potato starch bags. And then this one really stood out to me as being covered in plastic. I just thought it was wrong and that they can't continue like this and it should stop. I completely agree. And it's good to see um, you seeing a problem and doing something about it as well. Amazing stuff. And, and what kind of reaction have you had so far? When, have you had any responses from these people you've been sending letters to? Um, so a large supermarket in the UK has agreed with me and they've stopped selling magazines with plastic toys on. And a few publishers have also agreed and they've went plastic free. And one of the publishers that I targeted directly, like my first one that I wanted to target, they now offer a gift free option to subscribers. Um, but hopefully with the Cap Tats relaunch, we'll have a load more positive responses. That's amazing. Um, so you're already seeing some responses to your, your activism. That's great. And I must say, you've been very professional not naming any names as well. They'll be happy. <laughs> Um, so something else that's really exciting, um, other than Sky's work that she's doing with Kids Against Plastic, um, is we are working together on a project called EcoChamps that we are hoping to launch by the end of the month. So Sky, maybe you can tell these guys a little bit about what we're doing, what we're planning to do, um, and what EcoChamps is going to be. Um, so EcoChamps, we're going to focus on the UN's SDG, Sustainable Development Goals. Um, and we've grouped them into a total of 11 groups. And I'm going to make a educational video every month on one of these groups. And what, what's the goal of doing this? Why, why are we doing this? Why are you walking up the hill every morning to take some nice videos up the hill? What, what are you, we hoping to achieve? Um, to educate young people on solutions and what, happening in the world with the climate crisis amazing um and yeah we're hoping that by sky putting in all this amazing work she's been filming she's been editing she's been telling her story uh, we hope to connect students young people around the world who care about their environment we want to celebrate different eco champs in different countries and we want to allow these young superheroes like Sky to connect through social media, share ideas and inspire each other as well. So it's a very exciting program and hopefully we'll be able to launch it very soon. Um, so keep an eye out on our Coprot website, One Planet Conservation Awareness website, um, and you'll be hearing a lot more from Sky and her amazing work. So that's it for this month. Sky, thank you very much for coming and joining us. If anyone would like to find out more about Sky's work, you can head to Kids Against Plastic and go on to the Kids Against Plastic tap um, campaign and you can see all the work that Sky's been doing and you can get on board to uh, target these unnamed producers who are making so much tap. Um, and as always, if you're interested in volunteering with us, donating or just finding out more about our project, you can head to tortugas.osa.org um, and reach out to us. So Sky, thank you very much. Um, and I'm sure you'll be speaking to these guys very, very soon. Yes. All right, guys. See you next month.